everyone, I've got Sophia Brito from the Don Harrington Discovery Center here with us this morning. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, children? I'm oh, doing pretty good. Glad you came and talk, came to talk to us today. Yeah. And we've kind of teased at it a couple times. I talked to Jennifer Noble a lot, mm -hmm. you know, talked to our friends at the Discovery Center about this new exhibit. Of course, y'all have exhibits coming in and out of the building all the time. Mm -hmm. But you have a new exhibit coming in that's not going anywhere, right? A new permanent exhibit. Can you tell us more about yes, that? Yes, exactly. So our new permanent exhibit, Discover Through Time. Uh, some of you, if you visited the Don Harrington Discovery Center recently, you might have heard the construction noises, kind of seen something going on. But Discover Through Time is great. We're bringing in over 30 species, species of animals and exploring the high plains throughout the different millenniums, all the different biomes that were here. It used to be the inland sea. Um, there used to be a giant spruce forest. Um, and of course, there's the high plains that we know today. Um, this exhibit is going to kind of let people time travel and explore it. it. Sounds really exciting for sure. Like I said, you know, you're kind of starting you know, at the beginning and you can walk your way through this exhibit. And I've kind of got a little sneak peek myself of kind of as mm -hmm. that construction was going on. And the thing about it is, I mean, like I said, you're really, you're walking through time, but what's really cool is you're gonna have, like you said, 30 species of animals that are, people can see in this exhibit. Can you kind of give us a sneak peek as to what kind of critters we're gonna be able to yes. catch? Yes, so the one I'm most excited for is the moon jellyfish. Um, we have quite a few different species of fish there, which I think is very cool. Um, the lighting's very interesting. Some of them kind of glow in the dark. We have an axolotl. Um, we have a couple of giant toads, I guess. I think they're African bull toads, um, or one of them. And then we have another very large frog-looking thing that's probably the size of my face. Um, and then we also have, of course, our chameleon, um, a few different birds there, which is very interesting to hear them like kind of sing throughout the Discovery Center. Um, but I don't know. There's lots of cool animals. There's something for everyone, for sure. Oh, and that's really cool. I mean, Noah's certainly looking forward to it. Also, can you tell us a little more about some of the work that's gone into this? You know, you know, of course, you've got some great partners that have helped fund this great project. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so this project actually started back in 2021. Um, that's when the talks of it started. Our CEO, Wendy Taylor, she knew she wanted to bring more animals to the Discovery Center. Um, and then, you know, it was kind of a question of how we could do that. There's so many ways you could, you know, allow the community to interact with animals. You can kind of display them. Um, so what happened was she's originally from Lubbock, um, left the area for a bit and came back. And she learned about the different biomes that were here in the High Plains. She learned about the Inland Sea. Um, she learned about, you know, all the cool stuff that was here, you know, millions of years ago, and was wondering, why didn't I know this? You know, yeah. why didn't I learn, learn about this in school? Why does nobody else know about this? So the idea of Discover Through Time was born, um, showcasing the different animals from each biome, how they kind of evolved into what we know today. Yes. Um, it's been a very interesting process to be a part of, and you know, it's, I'm so glad to see that it's finally coming to fruition. The public opening is going to be September 22nd. All right. I mean, that's going to be a big day for sure. So mm -hmm. can't wait to keep up with that. So maybe before it opens, is there any chance that maybe we can come in and get a sneak peek ourselves and maybe walk our viewers through this exhibit? For sure. I'm hoping I'm hoping in a couple of weeks you can actually come through. And I actually misspoke. It's the public opening is September 24th. Okay. My bad. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, can't wait to see. Like I said, hopefully we can come and get a sneak peek. Hopefully we can get that going here in the next couple of weeks. But thank you for coming and talking to us yeah, today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Glad uh, to be here. Of course. Yeah. So Don Harrington Discovery Center, always fun things going on there. I know we can't wait for this new opening of this permanent exhibit.